The China Jinping Underground Laboratory Chinese, Zhongguo Jinping de Chia Xi Yan Shi Pinyin, Zhongguo Jinping Dixia Xian Shi is a deep underground laboratory in the Jinping Mountains of Sichuan, China. The cosmic ray rate in the laboratory is under 0.2 muons per square meter per day, placing the lab at a depth of 6,720 meters, W, E, and making it the best shielded underground laboratory in the world. The actual depth of the laboratory is 2,400 meters (7,900 feet), yet there is horizontal access, so equipment may be brought in by truck. Although the marble through which the tunnels are dug is considered hard rock, at the great depth it presents greater geotechnical engineering challenges than the even harder igneous rocks in which other deep laboratories are constructed. The 10 MPa water pressure in the rock is also inconvenient. But marble has the advantage for radiation shielding of being low in radionuclides, such as 40 K, 226 Ra, 232 Th, and 238 U. This in turn leads to low levels of radon 222 Rn in the atmosphere. The laboratory is in Langshan in southern Sichuan, about 500 kilometers (310 miles) southwest of Chengdu. The closest major airport is Zichang Kingshan Airport, 120 kilometers (75 miles) away by road. Topic: History The Jinping-2 Dam hydroelectric power project involved excavating a number of large tunnels under the Jinping Mountains, four large 16.7 km miles headrace tunnels carrying water east, 32 17.5 km miles vehicular access tunnels, one and one water drainage tunnel. Hearing of the excavation in August 2008, physicists at Tsinghua University determined that it would be an excellent location for a deep underground laboratory, and negotiated with the hydropower company to excavate laboratory space in the middle of the tunnels. A formal agreement was signed on 8 May 2009, and excavation was promptly started. 29 The first phase CJPLI, consisting of a 6.5 times 6.5 times 42 meters, 21 times 21 times 138 feet main hall, 8 plus 55 meters, 180 feet of access tunnel, 4,000 cubic meters total excavation. 15 was excavated by May 2010. 7 and construction. Construction completed the 12th of June 2010. Seven a formal laboratory inauguration was held the 12th of December 2010. 37 the laboratory is to the south of the southernmost of the seven parallel tunnels. Traffic tunnel A. The air ventilation in CJPLI was initially inadequate, resulting in the accumulation of dust on the equipment and radon gas in the air until additional ventilation was installed. 239 A more difficult problem is that the walls of CJPLI were lined with ordinary concrete taken from the hydroelectric project's supply. This has a natural radioactivity higher than desirable for a low background laboratory. 238 The second phase of construction uses materials selected for low radioactivity. 30 to 37. Topic: <laughs> CJPL2 expansion. The laboratory is currently undergoing a major 50-fold expansion. The first phase was rapidly filled, and plans for a second were made quickly, before the excavation workers and equipment departed following completion of the hydroelectric project in 2014. Slightly west of CJPLI, two bypass tunnels totaling roughly 1 km 3, feet long, 20 are left over from constructing the seven tunnels of the hydropower project. They are sloped criss-crossing tunnels which connect the midpoints of the five water tunnels four headrace and one drainage to the road tunnels beside and slightly above them. Totaling 210,000 cubic meters 7.4 times 10 to the 6 cu feet, 
four and originally intended to be blocked off after construction, 20 they have been donated to the laboratory and will be used for support facilities, 5 the expansion has added 151,000 cubic meters 5.3 times 10 to the 6 cu feet, 4 of additional excavation, some interconnecting access tunnels, 4 large experimental halls, each 14 times 14 times 130 meters 46 times 46 times 427 feet, 6 hours 12 minutes and 15 seconds, 22 to 239 minus 240 and 2 pits for shielding tanks below the hall's floors, 20 to 21 24, 27 The China Dark Matter Experiment has a cylindrical pit, 18 meters 59 feet deep and in diameter, which will be filled with a liquid nitrogen tank, and Pandax has an elliptical pit for a water shielding tank, 27 times 16 meters 89 times 15 52 feet and 14 meters 46 feet deep 239 minus 240245 the halls were complete by the end of 2015, 17, the pits by May 2016, 24 and as of May 2017 are being fitted with ventilation systems 24 to 25 and other necessities this is somewhat behind expectations that they would be ready for occupation in January 2017, 20. When complete, it will be the world's largest underground laboratory, surpassing the current record holder the Laboratory Nazionale del Gran Sasso Ings. Although greater depth and weaker rock force the halls to be narrower than the 20 meters 66 feet wide main halls of Ings, their combined length of 520 meters 1710 feet provides more floor space 7280 vs 6000 square meters than LNGS's 3 halls totaling 300 meters 980 feet. CJPL's halls also enclose more volume than those of Ings. CJPL has 93,300 cubic meters in the halls proper, and an additional 9,300 cubic meters in the shielding pits, making a total of 102,600 cubic meters, slightly more than LNGS's 95,100 cubic meters, including the service areas outside the main halls. The result is 200,000 to 300,000 cubic meters of usable space. 1822, 239 more than LNGS's grand total of 180,000 cubic meters, CJPL's total volume of 361,000 cubic meters would suggest that CJPL is twice the size, but that would be misleading. All of LNGS's excavation was designed to be a laboratory, and thus can be used more efficiently than CJPL's repurposed tunnels. Thanks to the laboratory's location within a major hydroelectric facility, additional electrical power is readily available. CJPL2 is supplied by two redundant 10 kV, 10 MVA power cables, 1521 available power is temporarily limited by the 5 times 250 kVA step-down transformers in the laboratory one per experiment hall, and a fifth for facilities, 15 there is likewise no shortage of water, 14 for cooling high-powered equipment. The muon flux in and thus water equivalent depth of CJPL2 is currently being measured 25 and may differ slightly from CJPLI but it will certainly remain lower than SNOLAB in Canada and thus retain the record for the world's deepest laboratory as well. Topic: <laughs> Experiments Experiments currently operating in CJPL are China Dark Matter Experiment CDEX, a germanium dark matter detector, and PANDAX, the particle and astrophysical xenon detector for dark matter and neutrinoless double beta decay also operating in the laboratory is a low background facility using a high purity germanium detector, for measuring very low levels of radioactivity. 7 This is not a physics experiment itself, but tests materials intended for use in the experiments. It also tests materials used to construct CJPL2. 27 to 32 experiments currently planned for CJPL2 are 24-29 to 23. 
A larger, tonscale version of CDEX, 2325, 2327 A larger, tonscale version of Pandax, 25 hours 26 minutes and 23 seconds Jinping Underground Nuclear Astrophysics Juna, an experiment to measure the rates of astrophysically important stellar nuclear reactions, 27 and a possible liquid argon dark matter detector, 28 hours 23 minutes and 26 seconds proposals also exist for Jinping Neutrino Experiment, 23 An experiment taking advantage of CJPL's location far from nuclear reactors, and thus having the lowest flux of reactor neutrinos of any underground laboratory, 6 To do precision measurements of solar and geoneutrinos, 29 Cupid Cuore upgrade with particle identification, a neutrinoless double beta decay experiment, 26 and a directional dark matter detector by the MIMAC micro -TPC matrix of chambers collaboration, 23 as a follow-on to their detector currently operating at the Modane Underground Laboratory. <laughs> Notes <laughs>